Hello, welcome back to my channel, Billy X Luxury. So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Today we are going to take a look at Bougie Nail Polish. So I have recently just started really enjoying painting my nails again. So I have purchased some from Hermes and more recently some from Chanel. So I just want to do a little bit of a comparison for you guys. If you are considering buying this sort of nail polish, obviously it is a lot more expensive than most nail polishes on the market. The Hermes ones retail for about $70 here in Australia and the Chanel ones I think I paid about $46 each. So they are quite a lot cheaper than the Hermes but I mean there's some differences between the two so I want to do a little bit of a comparison for you and let you know you know my thoughts and which ones I think are better. So if you've seen my most recent video, you would know that I had been on an Hermes journey. So that is how I got into the Hermes nail polish because I was just kind of trying to find things to buy when I was in store and then they released the beauty range. And so I really wanted to try it. So the first ones that I actually bought was this color, which is Rose Horizon. And then I bought the top coat. Now the next time I wanted a color, I then purchased this one, Orange Poppy, which is supposed to be like the classic Hermes orange color. It's supposed to um, be the closest to their, you know, Hermes orange. And then the next one I purchased is Vert Egyptian. So my issue with the Hermes nail polish is that they just don't have any stock. There were so many colors that I wanted, but just can't get. I've had my name down on a wish list for months and months and months. And I mean, it's a bit crazy that you have to be on, you know, a wait list for nail polishes when they've just released the beauty collection. Why don't they have enough? Anyway, so every time I went in to get some more, they just never had a color that I liked. They didn't have any stock. And the only stock they sort of would have is, you know, like the greens and the oranges. They didn't really have any pinks, like the darker colors that probably aren't so popular, whereas the lighter colors that are more popular, I just couldn't ever seem to be able to buy them. You know, they're not on the website either. I had a look on the website to try and buy, you know, some lighter pinks and stuff, and there's just none. They just don't have anything available. So that started to be really frustrating. I kind of wanted a new color and then I would go in and then there would be nothing that I could buy which is kind of the Hermes story, really. They're just like so low in stock all the time of everything. Everything is a wait list. So I was like, God, I just want some, you know, a new color of nail polish. I don't want to have to wait months and months and months for a new nail polish. So anyway, I kind of gave up on that. And that's why I went and bought a couple of Chanel colors the other week in colors that I actually like and prefer. So the thing with the Hermes nail polishes is they are 70% natural origin ingredients so 70% of this is you know natural which I really love I try and buy natural whenever I can I definitely prefer that so when I heard that about this nail polish I was stoked because I thought that's amazing you don't want to be putting so many chemicals on your body and on your nails and on your skin you know so wherever you can go natural is a good thing I think so that's why I firstly liked uh, these ones and the next thing I really like is obviously the aesthetics of the bottle so as you can see on the top of it it has the Ex Libris sort of stamp, which is very much Hermes, very obviously Hermes. The rest of the bottle is just very, very plain, but I love the gold features, the gold and the gold. So, I mean, the bottle just looks beautiful in my opinion. The next thing I absolutely love about the Hermes nail polish, let me just show you, is the brush. It is so thick and so wide. As you can see, it's a really, really wide, curved sort of like rounded brush and it just makes it so easy to do like a perfect coat of nail polish so i really really rate this brush it's an excellent nail polish brush it makes it so easy to paint your nails yourself the brush on the top coat is exactly the same the top coat is really really thick as well see how it's like really rounded it definitely makes a huge difference on painting your own nails seriously now the next thing I really love about the Hermes nail polish is it dries so quick. It's not, I don't think it's not described as like a fast drying nail polish, but it really, really dries so quick. Like you do one coat, I feel like by the time you've done the other hand, it's dry on this side. It's really, really fast drying, like incredibly fast drying compared to the Chanel. Okay, so my pros for the Hermes nail polish, uh, the bottle is really pretty and aesthetically pleasing. It looks really beautiful like in your makeup cabinet. The formula is 70% natural. It is very, very quick drying and I absolutely love the rounded, thicker, wider brush. And then the cons for the Hermes nail polish, there is a limited variety of colors. The colors are sort of like different sort of colors, like a lot of the darker sort of colors in this range because they are meant to match your handbags, the leather colors. 
So that is definitely a con. There is not a wide range of colors and they are predominantly sort of darker shades. And the other con is that like you just can't get them. You can't get any of the colors that you want. There's just no stock. And if there is stock, it just sells out really, really fast. So that is definitely a huge con for me. It's part of the reason I sort of changed over to Chanel because I just like, I want more nail polish, but I just can't wait months and months for a new shade. Now, the next thing I did find with the Hermes nail polish is it, it just doesn't stay on that long without chipping. So for me, I guess I'm not really very easy on my nails. It kind of lasts, mm, three, four days and then it's pretty chipped and I have to take it off. So that is another uh, con for the Hermes. It just doesn't last as well. So the next thing we're gonna take a look at is the Chanel. Now I have so far bought two to try out and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the formulation of this. So the colors that I bought, where can I find the colors? Rose, Cache and New Dawn. So this color I really, really, really love. Chanel has a way bigger range of nail polish shades than Hermes does, and it's sort of more um, appealing colors, I guess. There's a lot of neutrals in the range, which sometimes I just really like a neutral. Sometimes I don't want a dark, bright nail. So I was really happy at their range of neutrals, if that is uh, what you're going for. So with this one, you take off the lid, also very aesthetically pleasing. It looks really pretty because the Chanel is um, pretty big the logo on the top and it, it just is a beautiful looking bottle it looks really nice in like a makeup cupboard or say what I've got it in a clear perspex uh, nail polish container so you take the lid off and then it just unscrews now the difference I found between these two is I'm not a huge fan of the Chanel brush it is flat at the end and it is very thin in comparison to the Hermes brush. The Hermes one just makes it so easy to get like one stroke and you've done half your nail. You know, this one you need to do multiple strokes to evenly coat your nail. So yeah, that I feel like is definitely a point of difference. The brush on the Chanel one is not as good and it's not as user friendly when you are doing your own nails. The Chanel nail polish, also the ingredients are not predominantly natural like the Hermes is. So that is a big point of difference. If you prefer a more natural product on your skin and on your nails, then the Hermes one is definitely um, sort of leading leading the race in that, in that respect. I found the Hermes nail polish dried a lot quicker than this one. I felt like I had to kind of go and sit for like an hour to let this one properly dry. So the Hermes one is way quicker in drying than this uh, Chanel nail polish is. I do want to show you, I have had this color on now for 10 days. The ends have chipped a little bit, but I just want to give you a look. See how the ends have just sort of started to come off a wee bit. But generally, it's pretty good. And this is 10 days in. I'm so impressed with um, the longevity of the nail polish. Obviously they don't look like they're freshly done, but they still look fine. 10 days in, I can't believe it. Whereas my Hermes sort of chips after three, four days. And then, you know, it's kind of obvious because the colors are more rich and darker compared to like the more neutral shades. So the pros of the Chanel nail polish is the price point. It is considerably cheaper than the Hermes. I feel like the formulation is great. It is very, very long wearing. It dries nice and hard, although it does take longer to dry. It dries and it stays on and it has stayed on me for 10 days. So that is really, really great for the Chanel. The uh, colors, there is a much better range of colors in the Chanel nail polish than there is in the Hermes. That is also a point for the Chanel. And then the cons for the Chanel are the fact that it takes considerably longer to dry and then the brush. The brush definitely is nowhere near as good as the Hermes brush and it makes it harder to do your nails yourself being such a thin brush. Now, as far as top coats go, I'm really impressed with the Hermes top coat. I haven't actually bought a base coat or I haven't bought a top or base coat from Chanel. So I'm not actually sure how that one compares to this one, but I have used this top coat on both the Hermes and the Chanel nail polish and it's just excellent. It dries really, really quick and it has really good uh, longevity as you can tell from my Chanel nail polish and then having the Hermes top coat on it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some nail painting so that you can see the colors and you can see what I mean about the different brush stroke uh, sizes and the fact that the Hermes brush is um, a lot thicker and a lot easier to use. So I will show you that. Sorry that I don't have a huge variety of Hermes colors to show you. It's just unfortunate that they're unavailable and haven't been able to purchase anymore. And uh, yeah, so, so far I've only purchased two of the Chanel, but I definitely intend on buying some more. 
Okay, so the first color I'm going to show you is the Hermes Orange Poppy. See what I mean about the nice wide brush? So in one stroke, I've nearly covered the entire nail. It gives a really even color distribution and it is designed to really only need one coat. See what I mean? So it is so much easier to use, the Hermes. So that is the Orange Poppy. The next one I'm gonna show you is the Rose Horizon. I'm not a huge fan of orange, but I just kind of felt like I needed to buy a color and that's kind of all they had available. So see how this brush is just so nice and wide and really, really easy to do yourself. So it's slightly lighter and more of a kind of pinky sort of orange. And the next color I'm gonna do is the Vert Egyptian from Hermes. So this is a very, very dark green. But very highly pigmented color. So see how you only really need one coat. And it's a very, very uh, well pigmented nail polish. So that is the three Hermes nail polishes that I have. Now we're going to move on to the Chanel nail polishes. So this one that I'm going to show you first is the Rose Cache. And you can see there is a huge difference in the brush. It's a very, very thin brush and it just doesn't make it that easy to coat the entire nail. Definitely not as easy as the Hermes one. So this is a beautiful neutral shade. The next one, which is actually my favorite out of the two, is the New Dawn. Very, very pretty color, but definitely not as easy with the brush and it does take slightly longer to dry. I did find with this color in particular, um, I definitely need a second coat. This color, I did use a second coat when I uh, did my nails with it because it just sort of dries and goes a little bit transparent. Whereas the Hermes, you can get away with just using one coat on them. Take a little look at the Hermes top coat. brush is very very easy just like the other um, ones. It's a nice thick formula and nice and shiny and very quick drying. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. Hope it was helpful to show you a few of the different colors and especially the way that the brush uh, coats your nail. So it's really hard to choose a clear winner here because they both have really good points. I guess if you like natural products and quicker drying products and easier to use products, you're probably better to go to Hermes. And if you like a better range of colors and you don't really mind that it takes a little bit longer to uh, dry, you could go Chanel. So I like both. I feel like I'll continue to buy uh, both products. I will buy more Hermes nail polish when colors actually become available and I can buy more pinks and neutral sort of colors that I prefer. I will definitely buy more Hermes nail polish, but in the meantime, I probably will buy more Chanel just because they have a better color range. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for checking out this little quick uh, review, nail polish, bougie nail polish review. I uh, hope you enjoyed my content. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'm pretty close to a thousand subscribers now, so I'd really love it if you would help me out and subscribe and help to get me there, um, as that is my goal of being on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and also share with others. Leave me a comment. I love to read your comments and I always respond. Have a great weekend. See ya.